There is no shortage of excitement in the silver market. It is above $32 an ounce right now. But that's not really the number I want to focus on, believe it or not, even though it is noteworthy. I'll explain why the other number is so important as we explore. Silver, it has done quite well since the beginning of this year, no question about it. But let's go through the numbers for all of the precious metals right now and see what's going on with them because I think we have to look at other numbers as well for the spot price to get a, really give an appreciation, especially for what silver is doing today. As far as all the precious metals are concerned, silver is outshining them all by a long shot. Gold is only up 0.39%. Up $9.10 an ounce to $2,360.80. By the way, that's still very good. And overall, I think gold is a more stable store of value. So it's not surprising that it's not performing nearly as well. In fact, of all the metals, it is up the least. But the one metal that is actually down sharply is palladium. It's down over 1%, down $11 to $1,009. But even it is above $1,000 an ounce. And platinum is up $5, a 0.47% increase to $1,070 an ounce. But silver has is outshining them all. It's up 1.2% right now, as I report to you, mere moments before the markets close. Up $0.38 cents to $32.10. That narrows the gold to silver ratio to 73.76. And by the way, that is not the number that is shocking me right now, although that is a surprising number because we've been used to seeing numbers well above 75. In fact, the 80s, the low 80s has been what seemingly has been the new normal for silver's ratio compared to gold. But now it's getting closer to 70. And that leaves us to question as to whether or not we should trade our silver in for gold at this point. And with a ratio narrowing like this, I don't know. Of course, there's been a lot of people selling their silver too, as I have documented uh, anecdotally from my local coin shop, but I think other places too. The market is becoming saturated. I, I can't tell you how many times I've heard folks say, well, when, I when silver reaches over $30, I'm out. I'm cashing out. And that's understandable. People have been burnt on this kind of activity with silver. The price goes up, we get excited about it, and then it crashes back down again. And I'm not saying that can't happen here, but I kind of doubt it. As each day passes, it becomes more and more apparent that we're starting to see a solidification of maybe a new resistance for silver. And I'm going to be re referencing an article here from the investor observer that talks about this uh, that gives you some insight as to where this is. This is actually from yesterday's move in silver's price. Uh, often considered the poor relation of gold as a safe haven stock, the silver spot price has shown its own accord recently. Uh, and the spot price climbing up fairly dramatically as I reported yesterday. And uh, this is something to see when, when the silver price almost reached $32, and now it's over $32 an ounce. Uh, and the, the more we can see silver stay above 30, I think that's a reason to celebrate. It's, in other words, it's not just a flash in the pan right now. Uh, $32 might be, but uh, the fact that we've reached it again, I think is, a big, is big news, even though the climb from yesterday is not as dramatic. I think this is actually better than just seeing it move up another 4 or 5% in, in one day. Uh, I think this shows that there's something to this rally. There's something to this bull silver market that's here. Uh, but here's the number. Here's a number that I think is quite shocking to me. That silver's price is up more than 31% this year to date. And that's based off of yesterday's number. And that's over 16% in the last month. That's far outpacing inflation if you measure from the beginning of the year. Now, again, as I've said many times on this channel, and I'll repeat it here, anybody can take any two dates and make an, a certain asset or a precious metal seem like a really good deal um, or a good investment strategy even. Yes, I even use that word investment. 
but to make a case for silver, 30% to 31% year to date, and by the way, that number is probably now 32, 33% when you take into account today's climb or close to it. Um, it seems like really good. If you started stacking at the beginning of the year and bought all your silver then, well, you've come out way ahead of inflation. But again, keep in mind that it's a long-term proposition. And even though you've done well this year, well, let's take a look over the past solid year. Over the past full year, in other words, from May, where we are at now, silver is up 36.68%. Yeah, you heard right. 36.68% up $8.49% from a year ago today. That's even better news. But what about uh, over the past uh, um, you know, uh, five years? Well, that's, that's an even bigger number here. Uh, it was, it's up over 17.27% over five years ago. That's a 120.15% increase in the price of silver. That's mind blowing. Uh, and let's just go back 20 years. Um, and of course, you know, you can take uh, to where it is today. Uh, it is up over 412%. But of course, what happened within that 20 years? Uh, well, you had, um, uh, you had the rise to $50 an ounce almost in 2011. So it depends on which time you pick. So again, you can make it look really bad because if you look at its all-time high, of about $50 in 2011, and especially in 1980. Well, silver is a losing proposition, right? Especially when you adjust for inflation. Uh, so let that sink in there, that it just depends on how you measure. So uh, it's a shocking number. It's a surprise. However, I don't think our celebration should be uh, come down to reality when we think about where inflation is now and also... Uh, the number of times silver has moved up and down. In other words, it's a volatile metal. And you know, we, as soon as we start to celebrate and we think, oh, we're, we're doing great with silver, well, then it gets smashed down and that could happen. And I'm gonna prepare you as the viewer that that could, that, that, that could take place. But remember, silver itself is more than just the price of the metal. It's about having wealth outside of the system. And that's been a theme that I wanna really communicate to my viewers this year, uh, that silver is, is a metal that uh, should be celebrated as a savings vehicle outside of the system. Uh, it's more than just a hedge against uh, uh, inflation. It's a hedge against economic instability and geopolitical uncertainty and a potential a case where we see a revaluation of the dollar. I don't think it's going to necessarily collapse. In other words, just fold up from underneath of us like we see in other countries. It will be reset. It'll be reset, I think, in due course. And that's probably years out, maybe even a decade out. Um, and that reset will likely occur uh, and circumvent around a central bank digital currency of some sort. Uh, but uh, we hope that doesn't happen anytime soon or at all. Uh, we'd much rather have control of our own, mon our own money and our fiscal policy and the like. Uh, individual, you know, uh, we should be able to spend and hold money at our own leisure. With silver and gold, you can do that. There's something valuable to that, no matter what they do to the dollar, of one sort or another. So it's pretty pretty amazing to see here. Uh, so with silver hitting a multi-year high on the 20th of May, it did reach $32.50 an ounce. Silver has been weaker since then, but of course now we're about... 50 cents or 40 cents away from that $32.50. It's pulled back and the area below $30 has acted as a significant resistance previously. So it seems reasonable to assume that it is acting as support right now. Every single day that passes that we see silver above $30 is a good day for those of you who have been waiting for this for so long. Um, uh, solidification of a support level, a new floor, if you will. But as ever, strong rallies can appear out of nowhere, particularly after significant pullbacks. And that's what we've kind of seen. It's been a sort of a roller coaster ride, but it is um, pr pretty amazing. Uh, now, there is an analyst called uh, Ritesh A. May has been the moment for the world's two biggest precious metals, both gold and silver, have appreciated, have experienced a remarkable surge this month.
It's uncommon for precious metals like gold and silver to rise alongside with the S&P 500, given their usual negative correlation, but May has been an exception. Ritesh adds that silver historically is more volatile than gold. It's expected to continue this upward trend. The medium and long-term charts continue to show bullish momentum. As long as COMEX silver futures trade above the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level and the recent swing low and high at $21.85, the upward momentum should persist. For those of you who are into technical analysis will appreciate that. For a fresh move upward, though, the uh, silver futures needs to break above $32.45, which is currently acting as a near-term resistance. So if that's our next point, $32.45, you might as well round up to $32.50 in my view. And that is the next point where we'll have to kind of see where things go. By the way, if you enjoy content like this, we'll give you some analysis and insight in the world of silver. I hope you will consider pressing that thumbs up button and, uh, and, uh, and maybe subscribing to the channel if you haven't considered doing so at this point in time. And we'll see how this plays out, but uh, it's pretty remarkable. But again, you know, the price is only part of the picture with silver. Uh, even when it's going up, even at a time when we can celebrate, because one thing is for sure, if the price is going down and I said the same thing, you know what people would be saying. Well, you're just using that as an excuse. Well, there is no excuse about it here as the price keeps going up because I could just talk all day long about how silver is a great investment. No, you should not view it as an investment. That is a crucial mistake, and people have made it in the past. I think that's why many people are selling silver above $30. They're out because they've been disappointed by the price. Do not be. Look beyond price with silver. Uh, I cannot stress that enough. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and continue to stress that because it's so important to realize that. But I'm a fan of silver for what it is as a beautiful metal and a metal that I'm adding to my portfolio. Even today, I bought some silver, but I'm not going to show it to you right now because I don't have it right here handy with me. But I did buy a little bit of silver today. Maybe I'll talk about that in tomorrow's video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch. And I want to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.